Do you know that Transformers, which is the technology at the back end of ChatGPT, were originally invented by Google? Yet OpenAI were able to get the most out of it, develop cutting edge technology that has been taking the world by storm for the past year. And the secret behind OpenAI's success is simply making the super complicated AI very simple for users. Meaning, if you can write on a keyboard, you can use this and benefit from it. And this is what I love about this AI wave that has been going for the past year or so. It has changed so many rules in the tech industry. And the most important rule of them is that the fact that you're the leader of the market and you have so much money and talents doesn't guarantee that you'll be always dominating the market. And just like OpenAI has shaked Google throne back in 2023 and took all the lights away from the space of AI generally, which has been known that Google is a leader in this space. Today, I'm bringing you another AI startup that is challenging the dominance of Google for the search space. So who are they? What is special about them? And why Google dominance in the search space might be in danger just because of the birth of such a concept? This is all what we're going to be discussing today. So like this video, subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here and let's dive in. Today we're talking about perplexity AI a new AI startup that has processed over half a billion query. But guess what? Users better have to go through search pages or be misleaded by information that is posted on a website that's not really reliable. So the concept of this company is basically being able to look up the internet through a chatbot. So instead of going through the old style Google searches of going through endless number of links and reading through all of them to get to a final information or depending on chat GPT, which is unfortunately Unfortunately, it's not updated and if it looks up the internet usually it uses Bing which doesn't have much information or it's not as good as Google today with perplexity the game is completely different they will go through all the available resources including blog posts videos articles newsletters everything that's available on the internet and bring back direct clear accurate answers to you and to be honest i really like how their founder is envisioning the search and envisioning how users should be dealing with ai as well as search the gentleman was talking that nobody should be an expert prompt engineers users are not meant to be prompt engineers and that's why in perplexity ai when you ask questions it's gonna ask you clarifying questions in order to ensure that it retrieves information that's relevant and accurate to what you're looking for their founder was an intern at open OpenAI, by the way. And let me tell you, they have huge potential. As I mentioned earlier, they have processed over 500 million queries. And recently, they have received over $70 million worth of funding from a group of investors. And Jeff Bezos was on top of the list. And with this funding, the valuation of the company is over $500 million. For a team of 38 employees, that's pretty amazing. And this is one of the things that I really love about the AI wave right now. Very lean team teams for less than 50 people can show up and challenge giants like Google who has tens of thousands of engineers and billions of dollars as well as a dominance in the search space for over 20 years. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the AI news world. One last thing that I really love about them is the fact that everything that they bring in their answers is usually cited with the source of where they bring the information from. So even if it hallucinates, just a simple click and make everything clear. So I'm very excited to see tools like Perplexity coming to the market and really bringing a unique perspective and trying to disrupt such a space that has sort of been dominated by Google for 20 years. Do I think life will be sunshine and rainbows for them and they will be able to take a piece of the market? Well, yes and no. Yes, because the unique perspective they're bringing is just something that users want. There is not a single user right now that just want to be scrolling through endless number of links just to get a specific context or information. And no, because it's not as simple as it sounds. Today, they are relying on models that are not theirs. They are focused more towards 
toward ensuring accuracy of any information that they bring not necessarily that they have control over these language models that they are running which again takes us back to the point of how can you be certain about accuracy of a model you don't know how it works and by the way this is not my opinion this is what Elias Satskover the chief scientist of OpenAI says as well as Sam Altman the CEO of OpenAI said they do not understand how their models work so what's your take on this would you pay $20 a month and get subscription from perplexity.ai to get more accurate as well as more user-friendly experience instead of Google let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed this episode and learned something new don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time take care